Hello splendid women and magnificent men, this is Sarah McNichol and I'm going to talk about finding ways and rhythms of working that suit you today. Um, the context for our working practices and working styles in the UK is based on the industrialised model where um, individuals showed up at a factory or a workplace and were owned by their employer for the period of time that they were at work and we have phrases like keeping your nose to the grindstone um, <clears throat> that describe the sort of work that working conditions and working styles that happened then. Work meant head down doing the task that you were paid to do. Um, more recently, uh, the trend of presenteeism has emerged in competitive work environments in organisations where people um, sit, need to be seen to be visibly working, in inverted commas, and this um, habit of defining our success by the amount of hours that we do, how hard, how, how hard working we are, um, that's, that's become a real measure of success in a perverse way. Um, and another trend that has impacted working styles is the use of social media, which have extended the length of working days for many of us. Um, when we're online, we're effectively at work and that can start well before turning up at the workplace and go on till well after returning home from the workplace. Um, so the combination of these factors gives us a norm that isn't at all conducive to productivity and effectiveness. And this is backed up by national statistics in the UK, labour statistics, and we are, our productivity is falling and we're below uh, the national average for G7 countries in the UK in our productivity. So it, it's not working. Um, even though it's not working, this compelling model that we see around us is, is the norm. And as such, it's quite difficult to break away from. And it requires strength and I even say courage to break away from the norm and find your own ways of working that suit you well. I left working full time in a senior management role five years ago and since then I've been reprogramming myself in terms of my working habits um, and currently I'm in the development phase of a new business and with its associated demands <clears throat> and it gives me plenty of invitations to stick to my desk, ploughing through my to-dos, um, just like that kind of prevailing model of working hard. Um, I'm an executive work life coach and I support high level individuals. To do this extremely well requires me to be on really good form, I need to be clear, I need to be fully present when I show up for my clients not thinking about something else, not tired, not stressed. Um, but even knowing all this, uh, even having all this understanding about working practices, um, I find it tempting to keep my nose to the grindstone. I'm still facing these prevailing messages. Um, and today was a really good example. I recognised that this morning that what would really serve me well would be some yoga and uh, this was about 10 o'clock. <clears throat> I knew that if I did some yoga it would be about half 11 before I got near to proper work, as in sitting at my computer. Um, however, it, w it was a stretch but I do know myself well to know what will support me and I broke through my old conditioned patterns and chose to do the yoga. 
Um, as a result, I ended up very grounded um, and I, I wasn't in that shape before I did the yoga and enthusiastic about getting on with my to-dos in the day ahead. Plus, I'd come up with a couple of ideas to create content, content to share. Um, and this is one of the pieces of content that, that came to me mid-yoga. So um, it, it reminded me of the value of cultivating working practices and habits that are conducive to you performing at your best and being creative, being effective, being productive. So my encouragement to you is listen to yourself, notice how you feel and operate. Um, you know what, what works for you. While you can't necessarily um, down tools and do yoga in the middle of the day, maybe you can take a lunch break, maybe you can set some boundaries about being offline after work. There will be some things that you can introduce into your working practice that will support you to work at your best. Um, trust your judgment, trust your own working style and keep practicing. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.